Hello everyone, welcome back to another exciting tutorial of After Effects. In this tutorial, I will show you how to animate a cinematic logo animation and some interesting camera techniques and help you level up your animation skills. So without further ado, let's get started. But before that, I would like to tell you that you can download this vector file and follow the tutorial with me. Now, we are in After Effects. First things first, let's create a new composition and name it Main Comp. You can see the rest of the composition settings on the screen. Let's import our Illustrator logo. Double click in this panel, then select the file and click the Import option. Make sure you choose Composition Retain Layer Sizes. After that, simply click on the Import button and our composition is imported into this panel right here. Double click on this composition to open it. You can see a lot of Illustrator layers in this panel. Before doing anything, Select this layer and lock it because we don't want to convert this illustrator layer into a shape. Then, select all the illustrator layers, right click, and choose Create Shapes from Vector Layer. All the layers will automatically be converted into shape layer. Now we can delete the layers except for the one we lock. After that, rename the layers one by one. Renaming the layers is very important as it helps us recognize each shape. You will find these two layers, layer 5 and layer 6, which are blank layers. Since there are no shapes in these layers, simply select and delete them. After that, rearrange the layer order like I am doing here. Then, select the text layers and change the label group color. We can hide them for now because we are going to animate the pen and the line first. But before that, I would like to click on this raster layer and select this option. It will transform our raster layer into a vector layer. All right, so I just lock the brush and the background layer and solo the line and the background layer first. Then I choose the pen tool and ensure the fill is set to none and the stroke option is set to solid. Draw a line like this and make sure the line is placed at the center of this brown line. You can see I am creating the stroke line very carefully. After that, increase the stroke width slightly and try to cover it all. You can change the shape if needed. Make sure everything looks good. Take your time and make it perfect, because after that, you can't change the shape. Alright, it's looking perfect. Let's rename the shape layer as Line Reveal and place it above the line layer. It's time to add trim path. If you want to know about trim paths, I already made a detailed video on it. The video link is in the description below. Alright, so after adding trim paths, let's open it. Then add the first keyframe at the first frame by clicking on the end option and changing the value from 100% to 0%. Move the time indicator to around 3 seconds, then change the end value from 0% to 100%. After that, select the line layer and change the track mat to alpha mat. Now you can see the RAM preview. It's looking good to me, so I can move forward. Now select the line reveal layer, then click on the search bar and type cap. Change the cap to round cap for smoother corners of this line. All right, now just solo the pen layer so we can see it in the composition. Move the time indicator forward a bit and select the pan behind tool. Then zoom in a little so you can see the anchor point of this pen. Simply select it and place the anchor point at the bottom of this pen. All right, let's pay attention to this step. Select the line reveal layer, go to the search bar and type path. The path of this shape layer is now visible in the layer panel. Click on the stopwatch to add a keyframe, but make sure your time indicator is at the first frame. After that, copy this path keyframe, select the pen layer, and press P on the keyboard to reveal the position properties of this layer. Then, select the position property and paste the keyframe. You can see the line reveal path automatically added in the position properties of the pen layer. Now, if I play the RAM preview, you can see the pen is moving along the line path 
but right now it is moving faster than the revealing line animation. So select the line reveal layer. Press U on the keyboard to reveal the keyframe. Now we can see the keyframes of the shape. Simply select the last keyframe of the position and drag it to match the line reveal keyframe position. Now, if I play the RAM preview, you can see the pen is moving at the right timing. After doing this step, don't change the shape of the line reveal or the position of the pen. Alright, let's select all the keyframes and easy ease them. And select the last two keyframes of the shapes. Once again, click the graph editor and select this handle and drag it this way to change the graph. I created this graph because I want the pen to start moving slowly, then speed up in the middle of the animation, and then slow down at the end. I hope you can understand. After that, select the pen layer. Press R on the keyboard to open rotation properties. Click on the stopwatch to add a keyframe. Then move the time indicator forward to where the pen touches the first curve. Drag the rotation keyframe to this point. Move the time indicator again to where the pen touches the second curve and change the rotation properties to rotate the pen in the opposite direction. Repeat this process until you get the last keyframe of the rotation. Play the RAM preview and check the animation. After that, select all the keyframes and easy ease them. All right, let's animate the text. To animate the text, first click this option to unhide the text layers. Then click this icon to make all the layers visible in the composition. After that, solo the text layers and the background layer so that we can focus only on the text animation. All right, select the rectangle tool. Make sure the fill is solid and the stroke width is zero pixels. Draw a rectangle below the text like this. Then, select the layer we created and rename it as Text Reveal. After that, select the eye dot layer and parent it to the eye layer. Then, lock the eye dot layer. After that, select all the layers, press P on the keyboard to reveal position properties, and click on the stopwatch to add a keyframe. Move the time indicator forward a bit, around one second, and add keyframes here. Then, go back to the first frame and move the text into the box like this. Expand the layer panel and select all the keyframes, then easy ease them. After that, open the graph editor, select those points, and drag the handle to change the graph like this. All right, it looks good to me. First of all, close the layer. Then go to the effects panel and search for the set matte effect. Select the effect and drop it on the D layer. Then change the take matte from layer to text reveal and make sure you check this button. Then simply copy this effect. Select all the letter layers except D. and paste the effect on these layers. Now you can see our text is hiding behind the black box, which is invisible. After that, arrange the layers like this and check the RAM preview. Alright, after that, we can hide these text layers and move forward. Now, we can animate the pen intro animation. First of all, select the null object and add it to this composition. Drag the null object and place it at the center of this pen. Rename the layer as pen controller. After that, select the pen layer and parent it to the pen controller. Now we can control our pen with this null layer. Then, select all layers and press U to see the keyframes of these layers. Select the keyframes and move them forward a bit to create a little space here. Then select the pen controller and press P on the keyboard to reveal position properties and add a keyframe at the first frame. 
open the rotation properties of this layer and add a keyframe. Then press U on the keyboard to see both keyframes. Move the time indicator forward in the timeline, then add some keyframes at this point. Move the time indicator back and change the position of this pen to be out of the composition at the bottom. Move the time indicator forward again and change the position of the pen like this. Tweak the handles and correct the orientation of this part. Adjust a little bit like this and check the RAM preview. If everything looks good, select the middle keyframes and easy ease them. After that, open the graph editor, double click on this point, and you will see a box called the keyframe velocity box. Check the continuous box. Click OK. Now drag this point upward and change this curve like this. Check the RAM preview. It looks nice. Let's close the graph editor. Drag the time indicator to the first frame and change the rotation value to around minus 200. Then at the last rotation property, select the keyframe and easy ease it. Open the graph editor and change the curve of this animation like this. After that, close the layers, unsolo the layers, and turn on the visibility of all the layers so that we can see all the layers in this composition. Now, select all the layers and click this icon to make these layers into 3D layers. Now, all the layers are converted into 3D layers. After that, click on the layer, then select New and choose Camera to add a camera into the timeline. Before doing anything else, I suggest you lock the background layer. After that, open the camera layer, then open the transform properties of this camera layer. Here you can find two options, point of interest and position property. Click on the stopwatch to add a keyframe and make sure your time indicator is where your animation is finished. Move the time indicator backward to where the pen is just about to start drawing. On this position, select the camera layer and press C on the keyboard to change the camera tools. Click a couple of times until you get this icon. Then click and drag forward to zoom in like this. You can zoom in and zoom out by dragging forward and backward with your mouse. When the zoom angle is good, once again click the C button on the keyboard to change the camera tool until you get this icon. Click and drag to set the perfect position of this camera. And turn on the guideline so that you can set the camera position in the center of this scene. You can also change the Z value of the position to zoom in or zoom out. After that, move the time indicator backward to where the pen position is at the top. To find the timing of this pen, select all the layers and press U to see all the keyframes of all the layers. Right here, we can see that this keyframe represents where the pen position is on the top of this composition. Then, select the camera layer. Select this tool and drag it until we find the pen. Then, zoom out a little bit and set the pen at the center of this composition. One important tip. If you see this black background, do not worry. Simply unlock the background layer and select it. Then scale up a little bit and it will solve the problem. Then, lock it again. Alright. Move the time indicator once again and set it to the first frame. Once again, we have to change the camera position to where the pen is located. We already know that at the first frame, the pen position is at the bottom of this composition, so we can easily find it. Set the camera just above the pen at the first frame like this. Check the RAM preview by dragging the time indicator and ensure everything looks good. In my case, the last keyframes are very far, so I select those keyframes and drag them here. Then, I check the preview once I'm satisfied with the animation. I select all the keyframes and easy ease them. After that, select the middle keyframes of this camera layer. Then go to the graph editor. Select this point and drag the handles like this to create this kind of graph.
Check the RAM preview. It looks so good. All right, our camera animation is done. It's time to get back to our keyframe set position. Select all the keyframes of the pen layer and the line reveal layer and drag them here. After that, select the last keyframe of the camera layer and make it a Bezier keyframe. Then, select it and change the position of this keyframe according to your animation. You can also change the graph by going into the graph editor of this keyframe to get a perfect zoom out animation. Once you are satisfied with the animation, drag the time indicator to where the writing animation is about to finish. At this position, you have to select all the text layers, then drag them to this point. Check the RAM preview. It looks perfect right now. So that's how you can create a cinematic logo animation in After Effects without plugins and it will look so professional. I hope you liked this tutorial and learned something new today. That's it for now. See you in the next video.